Hey guys, it's Ed here, and today it's another Lightroom tutorial, but it's not a panorama this time. Uh, this time it's quite a square picture actually, because I took it, um, I took two photos and stitched them together in Adobe Elements, and I would have showed you that, but I seem to have lost the raw files, so I'm just going to show you the later stage, which I think actually makes the picture more than stitching the two together. So. Um, you can see that it's quite faded and that's because I used filters to get uh, the long exposure uh, you can see it was a long exposure because of this sort of wavy grass and I really like the effect that it gives it also gives um, this light streaks just makes it more pronounced um, and you can see along here as well I mean I have cocked up the um, Photoshop a little bit just there but it's it's unnoticeable really uh, when you zoom out. Um, what I'm going to do first is just uh, lower the highlights and just to recover some more detail here and increase the shadows to recover some more detail here. Uh, I'm then going to set a white point by pressing alt and then slide into the right until you can just start to see some dots on the screen. And then I'm going to do the same for the black, but just go a bit further this time. So probably about there, that'll do. Um, it's a bit bright, I think, so I'm going to lower it, lower the exposure just a bit. Um, now we're going to go down to clarity, and it needs a lot of clarity. That's what, that's why it's faded. It's just lacking clarity. Um, I think this photo suit will suit a black and white because it it's just very dramatic so I'm going to put it to black and white but there's not enough contrast there's quite a lot of mid tones it's quite grey so I'm going to increase the contrast and that will sort that out basically you can see that's happening already but I think now it's too bright in these sort of areas so you can sort that out by probably do, doing that a little bit yeah here we go. Do you just need to play around with the shadows, highlights, contrast, and exposure if the if it's too bright in areas? That's what I usually do. Um, and exposure, yeah, it doesn't need to go down one stop. Right now, if we go down to the next section, which I look at, which is detail, so we're just going to sharpen it, probably about fifty odd, sixty. Why not? Uh, there shouldn't be any noise because I took it at ISO 100, so i would just leave that. Uh, lens correction, enable profile corrections, and just put in the what lens you use to take the photo. Um, I use a 10 to 20, but 12 to 24, that's roughly the same, so i just do that there. A bit of post crop vignetting, I'll just make it a bit darker around the edges. About to there, that looks good. Now the photo is pretty much done now, it was a quick edit but it's a really big transformation and it's just so much better now. Um, yeah, I really like it. Thanks for watching guys, uh, it was a short one this time but uh, please subscribe, please like, add favourites, you know, whatever and thanks for watching.